Hey everybody, Spurgle here again, and welcome to another item poor example. Today we are going to be doing a hatchet. I picked up this free 3D model over at CG Trader. I'll leave this link in the description and on my Discord. Now thanks to Don Nichols for um, his free hatchet. I'm going to use this as our melee weapon example. Should be a quick and easy one. It's nice, low polys, textures, comes in multiple formats. I'm going to be using the FBX with the textures. Um, yeah, that's about it. Read the license, download the model, and away we go. I've already created the spur hatchet folder in my basic mod structure. We've got a couple of empty config, model config, and an empty P3D, an empty data folder, and a scripts folder that only contains an empty four worlds folder. And we'll start, we'll go into data, we'll open up the textures, and we will just dump all of them in there for now. And I think we'll start with just the the color texture, the base color. I'm going to open it up in GIMP. Make sure it's a resolution that I'm happy with. 1000 It's pretty good for a, a little item like this. It's more than adequate. So we are going to export as. And we shall call it, I guess, at underscore go maybe spur hatchet underscore co dot t g a targa for um use in object builder click export on that untick it uh, the compression and there we go minimize that and we've got our first tga we're going to open that TGA up with text view and simply save that as a PAA. There we go. It's our first texture, our base texture done. Right, back into our main root folder of the mod. Open up the empty P3D and let's import the FBX we downloaded already. There it is, sat on the desktop. Boom. Don't need the RV mat and texture references because we have our own renamed ones. We will have when we make them all. And 0 0.01 scale. It's usually around that on an FBX. That's just the scale of the model. Let's see what happens if I bring it in as a one. Giant. Whatever software it was modeled in uses a different scale to Object Builder. So let's try and import that again. With the 0.01, I find that's the, the most common. And that looks somewhere about right for a little hatchet. First thing, I'm going to rename that to camo that as well can be any any selection that you want yeah let's do something different let's just call it hatchet click this i with the green triangle or hit e and apply that texture we just made the TGA. And it's very dark looking. Pretty sure if we highlight that and turn on normals, nothing is visible. Hit F5 
we've recalculated the normals. Is that, yeah, faces, recalculate normals. And now when we select it, we can see the normals, basically which way the faces are facing. And our texture is not all done. Looks all right. And we wanna, first thing you wanna really do is line it up. Um, so we might as well create a proxy of the vanilla hatchet. Find that in weapons, melee, blade, hatchet. There's that. Let's have a look in Bulldozer. covered the bulldozer setup in my beginner's basics. If you haven't watched the beginner's basics and you're new to daisy modding, make sure you go back and watch them all probably before you watch the rest of this series. And I also have the belt bag series, which is before this, just a basic item. Here we are in bulldozer. We've got the vanilla hatchet and our hatchet and we want to make them line up because we're going to be using the vanilla hatchets animations carry animation and attack animation for um our hatchet so they've got to line up i'm just going to drag this onto the other screen so i can see it go back to object builder and Select our hatchet. Let's rotate it on the Y axis by 90 degrees. And that wasn't right. We want that to be 180 degrees round. So still select it, rotate again. That should be somewhere near right. Our hatchet looks a little bit bigger and slightly different shape, but we're going to try and line them up the best we can. So it needs to go down first. So I've just pushed Y to select the Y axis, and I'm going to right click and drag it down. The hatchet itself is actually a similar size, it's just the head is bigger. And we want to move it, is that the Z axis? No. Be the X axis. The main thing we're trying to line up is this point of the handle where they would um where would you, you would hold them? I think what we want to do is go into yep, side view. If we hold control, we can then rotate our hatchet a little bit. I'm just going to lean it back. And X movement. Take your time, get it lined up where you want it. That looks about right. It does also need to go over on the Z axis. Go over here where we can see it. So back to 3D view, push Z. it to line up. It's pretty good. I don't think 
I really need to scale it. What's that happy with the size? Maybe take it down just a tiny, tiny bit. So that handle's a bit thinner. I go to OEB and I hold Control and Shift and then right click and just drag it down. Let go, right click, and there we go, it's scaled. I think I probably want to go back up a tiny bit. Little bit more. There we go. That's probably actually needs to go over that Z axis, wasn't it? Go. Yep, happy with that. Lines up. Considering it's not got an RV mat on it yet, looks pretty good. It's enough baffing around with that one, Shay. So, what's next? Guess we'll make some lots. So, always good to have a reference. Let's go have a look at what Lodz Patches got. Weapons, melee, blade, hatchet. We want to open that with the Makero Tools, Eliteness, hatchet. There we go. Fire Geo, Geo, Geo. Lots of geos and a memory and some res lots. Put that over there for a second and we're going to want a new properties, fire geometry, new properties, memory, new properties, geometry, um, new properties. New geometry. Yeah, that's all that the uh, vanilla one's got. That's all we've got. I'll do the res lords later. Maybe after this episode. It's pretty low on polygons, vertices anyway, so I don't have to lower them that much. Might be able to do it manually. Chances are, if I do it manually, I will smoosh up the textures. So I might just leave it to Blender to do. That's the basics of our hatchet so far. I think I've been recording for oh, only 13 minutes. But I do need a drink. So I'm going to save up here. And we'll go into filling these lots up. Next episode, mm, yeah, we'll do the lots next episode. Catch you in a bit, peeps. Bye.